We'll start off with uh, Mike DeVoe. Questions for Mike? Mike, uh, before you came out for warm-ups, did you know you were going to play? Yes, um, I went um, to Green Bay to get my foot looked at um, over the weekend, and um, they said I'll be able to play on Monday, so I felt good, and uh, my foot felt really good. I imagine it was tough to, to not be a part of those games, particularly like the last game at Notre Dame when they couldn't, couldn't needed the shooting, needed your shooting basically. And did it feel good to kind of get back in the rhythm and get out there and hit some threes? And for sure, it felt amazing to go out there and play with my teammates again and um, to be able to help them contribute to the, to the win and, and things like that. So I mean, it was tough watching the, the couple games that I was sitting out, but uh, I'm glad to be back. Was it fun? I mean, you're in a, a kind of blowout game in the league, which is, you know, kind of rare, really. Mm -hmm. I imagine that'd be fun for you and Jose to have like that kind of opportunity today. For sure, it was a great team win for all of us. Um, a lot of guys got to play today, and um, a lot of guys were in the scoring um, column today, so it was a great overall team win. Michael, I apologize if you commented, but I'm just curious, what do you observe uh, in Jose? Just the way he's, he's really kind of dialed up the scoring, I, partly because you were out, but he seems to have real success getting the basket and shooting that floater. For sure, um, he's stepping up a lot, and um, he stepped up a lot when I was gone too. So I mean, he's playing really well. He got to continue playing that way and uh, just keep playing the right way. Was he kind of doing that in the summer? Did you see a lot of that? For sure, um, we all competed at a high level. All of us, um, we had guards and um, wings and. We all separate ourselves this summer. We we competed, so I think that's what got us really, really better. And uh, guys are just stepping up. So, the spacing look really good, but probably better than it has in a while. Is that something you guys have been working on in practice? For sure, and um, also just attacking closeouts. And um, just some teams are going to play off of us because of our shooting and things like that. So a lot of guys we just we just been locking in on practice of, of driving closeouts and things like that. So I mean, it's, it's been working. So. To help you only play 32 minutes. How's your foot feel? It feels amazing. It feels great. Uh, I'm just glad to be back, man. Even with the score, what it was for the majority of the game, how important was it to not get complacent as the game progressed? I mean, it's a huge part. Coach keeps telling us that the game is we're, we're down, so we got we got to keep playing, we got to keep the lead up, and um, don't ever be complacent. So I mean, every every game is going to be a tough game, and um, it was a great team win tonight, so it was good. How much was uh, keeping an eye and getting you know? Keeping close with Flanders and Ollie was the arc. He's a great player. Um, I played with him when I played AAU and things like that, so I know him really well. And um, yeah, unfortunately, he had, a, he had a tough night tonight, so we, we contained him really well. And um, but he, he, he's a really great player. Did Coach Pastor kind of stress when he, you know, he has the ball out there? We've got to make sure we challenge, you know, high hands and all that. Yes, um, a lot of all, all those guys can shoot the ball really well, and um, they've been doing that this whole season. So. I mean, um, they got a great team, and um, it was it was a great team win for us. And um, they really got really good players and really good shooters. So that's what Coach emphasized in practice a lot this week was um, that they want to shoot threes. So that's what we did. We contained them really well. Anything else for Mike?